shock. Meg caught in panic mode as shocking photos she holding hands a surrogate spread on media. Meghan Markle conspiracy theorists appear to be on their last dying breath as they try to prove the new royal baby is fake. Ever since the Duchess of Sussex announced she was pregnant in October, internet trolls have accused Meghan of wearing a series of prosthetic bumps as a cover for a surrogate child. Even now, after Prince Harry announced the news of his first child, they are using the hashtag hashtag Megxit to discredit the seventh in line to the throne. The fuel for the fire is centered on the so far unknown location of the birth, and why Buckingham Palace announced Meghan had gone into labor at 2 p.m., when the baby was delivered more than eight hours earlier at 5.26 a.m. One person wrote, secret location, no medical team, announcement of labor hours after the birth, Scotland Yard escort that not a single person saw. WTF? Are they having us on? Another troll said, Maggie, now that the baby is born from the body, the surrogates of course, not yours, are you going to continue cupping your stomach or are you going to learn a new trick while you recover? How is the surrogate BTW? Is she allowed to show us the birth certificate? Some have claimed the lack of signatures from doctors on Harry and Meghan's official notice outside Buckingham Palace is evidence of a dishonest baby announcement. The notice was then compared with the ones put outside the palace after the birth of George, Charlotte, and Louis, which were all hand-signed by doctors present for each of the births, including Dr. Guy Thorpe Beeston, who appears on all three announcements. Even the language of baby Sussex's notice was picked apart. One person wrote on Twitter, the words share the news implies the BRF. British royal family, was informed about the delivery rather than being a witness to the fact. However, some people believe the Megxit conspiracy is in its final days, and will finally end once Meghan and Harry show their baby to the world tomorrow, as is expected. One person slammed the trolls, writing, watching a conspiracy theory in its later stages with the Megxit people. Their working theory has been that Meghan was faking her pregnancy, either with a surrogate, or by sneaking in a fake baby at the last minute. They took a false report that she was at Kensington Palace, and turned it into she's under house arrest at KP, so that she couldn't sneak away and grab a fake baby. Obviously. But now it seems like there's an actual baby, what with Prince Harry saying so and acting suspiciously like a guy whose wife had a baby. In other news, Meghan Markle reportedly came under heavy conspiracy over son Archie's birth despite the Queen's ruling on birth verification. A barrage of social media hate, netizens, and wild conspiracy stories following Meghan Markle well into her pregnancy and birth with her firstborn child, Archie Harrison. One was surrounding her use of a surrogate to give birth to her child, and an entire fake pregnancy. However, it is also important to note that Meghan was not the only royal to face speculations and conspiracy theories regarding the birth of her son. Back in 1688, King James II's wife Mary of Modena also faced similar claims, despite having over 42 witnesses present during the birth of her son. According to Express, at the time many spun stories and accused her of having sneaked a baby in a warming pan or through a secret door in the bedhead. Professor Mayfis Sullivan dubbed it the first media circus surrounding a royal birth. The custom of birth verification was abolished in 1948 by Queen Elizabeth herself, shortly before the birth of her son Prince Charles. This rule allowed royal women more privacy during the birthing process. Even the birth of her second, Lilibet became international news, for she is the first great-grandchild of the Queen ever to be born outside British soil.